Today we are using the brand new dice special emote on every elimination map in Stumble, guys. I am playing against the pro player T-Bones, and for every map that he wins, he will get a thousand gems. But if I manage to win a map, it will subtract his total by a thousand gems. So let's hope I can save some money today. Kicking things off, we are starting out on Block Dash. And here's our first use of the new emote. What you're going to notice about the brand new emote is that it stays on the map for a very long time. There's also a randomness aspect to the emote as well. So it goes one through 20, one being the worst and 20 being that what you just saw there. And the knockback is pretty insane. Oh my gosh, if only that hit. Oh, wait, can we get back, please? That's a thousand gems for him. Let's go on to map two. Um, from now on, we're going alphabetical order. So we're on acid pool for A, obviously. And I wanted to start off with block dash because, you know, I had to do it for the YouTube video. Oh my goodness. Come on. What? How did that not hit you? Yes. We both got hit by it. What? Okay. So it's one to one. Basically zero gems are owed to anyone. So like I said, we're going alphabetical order. And unfortunately, this is considered an elimination map. Oh, we got cupcakes. Oh, uh, wait, it's this way. It's this way. Again, only the dice emote. How did I sell? How did I sell? How did I sell this? There's no way I win now, right? Wait, where is he? Oh, no, he destroyed me. So about that, guys. Uh, it's now one to two. Okay, next up we get bombardment. And I don't know if he realizes there's a trick on this map, but you can use the dice to hit the bobs. Come on. What? It didn't work that well. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go for him. In three, two, one. Oh no! Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I have a feeling one of us is gonna die to the bomb. It's not even gonna be about the dice. Oh no, the bomb! Whoa, where's that jump? Where did my jump go? I went nowhere. You heard it. Bro, what? So since it is one to three, I'm still only looking at having to pay him 2,000 gems right now, which uh, honestly is a good day for me because I think you can remember I had to pay T-Bones, what, 120,000 for that one video? I'm never doing that again, especially... <gasps> I've never got sent that far out on Bob Bash. What was that? Okay, another weird one. We got Bucket Mayhem. Don't know if this is really gonna change the gameplay of the map all that much, but just because I wanna play it kinda dirty, I'm gonna stand up here and try to just hit him from the high ground. I probably should have established whether we could use the spatula or not, but uh... <gasps> what was that? One to five. Next, we got Honey Drop. And to make it interesting, we're going to be dropping two layers to make it go a bit faster. I need to get at least one win by using the dice roll. Oh, he's playing aggressive. I don't like this. Come on. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Nope. Yes. Finally, we got one. There it is. All right. Two to five. Okay. Let's keep this momentum and roll it on into this round. Oh, he's using one of the new skins from the new Stumble Pass. If you haven't watched that video on my channel, go check it out. The new pass is one of the best we've had in a while, in my opinion. He's going to try to cut me off. Yep, I had to pre-jump. That's it. Oh, come on. The one time I needed a 20, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, we're fine. Nice try. Yes, going to laser. Let's go. That angle was so, so good. All right, three to five. Laser Tracer is an interesting one because you're already preoccupied by the lasers. And I was trying to do my YouTube intro into the map. Well, three to six. Okay, we got Lava Land. And this time, I'm not gonna talk during the intro. I'm just gonna instantly lock in because he's playing so aggressive and fast that I have to be ready to counter. As long as we're high ground, he can't throw it up, which is nice. Oh, watch it. No, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yeah. I, if I jumped, he had the height advantage. Three to seven. Mr. Beast Disco Drop. Again, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Come on. Yep, I was ready for it. You can't hit me from that far. Come on. Prove me wrong. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna blame it on lag. I already know. Four to seven. Rush hour. I'm very curious if you can hit people in front and behind you. Oh, God. He's gonna go for it now. Yeah. Okay. Push you to the ledge. Make a decision. 
Oh god, <laughs> I'm running. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I just panic. <laughs> uh, it's four to eight. Okay, up next, we got sharks. And I really don't have a strategy here. Let's just try to play aggressive. Maybe it'll work out for me. Someone's gonna die here. Not gonna be me. Oh no. Oh no. Not the combo. <laughs> he just got disintegrated. Oh my word. Okay, the final variation of the sharks map or bombardment, whatever you want to call it. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> that did nothing. Wait. Ooh, that was a 20 right there. I'm going to be the first to jump off. Come on, be a real man. Come fight me. I'll snipe you. Don't think I won't. Okay, that was impressive. <laughs> I'll give it to you. A uh, five to nine. Up next, we got Space Drop, and here's what happens with the dice on low gravity. Pretty much impacts it the same way it would your character, but we're gonna be here for a long time. But let's see if we can snipe him somehow with the dice. Wait, he can't get here. Oh, I got a dip. Come on, this is actually so intense. Wait, no, one of us is gonna die here. Please! Honestly, kind of hype at the end there, but took a while to get there. Five to ten. I owe him 5,000 gems. I know this map doesn't really get played all that much, but I think the Tetris map is going to be one of the best for the new emote. Just because it's all flat and there's so many holes in the map. Ooh, wait. So the trajectory of the blocks making a match sends the... What was that? Did you just see me slide off the entire thing? Since when does it not allow me to jump? Okay, wow. 5 to 11. We got the other side, which is another underrated map. There really should be an option to change the amount of lives for this one. I know it'd be a pain for custom parties, but 5 lives is the only reason. Are you serious? I forgot how loud the cars were. Why is it so loud? Shut up! Oh, no. Why did I dive there? Nice. He's able to recover, though. Unlucky. Okay. Perfect. No. We're gonna go like this. Oh, that might not have been the play. Whew, it works out, though. Wait, we won. Hey, let's go. 6 to 11. This is another one where I feel like it's gonna be super impactful. UFOMG. At least at the start. Because at the start, you have time to get it off. But past, like, the 10-second mark, you're too concerned about not dying. Throw it. Nice try. Oh, dive back. Go back into it. Clean. Again. Oh, dive over top. Oh, my God. What? How did that not hit? It was a 22. Wait. On top of the rock? No. How did I not make it? Ugh. 6 to 12. We're coming down to the last few maps. And for Yeti Yeats, we are playing without taunt. Wait, what is he doing? What? Okay, so he just sent me this clip and didn't say anything else. So this is his POV. What just happened? So his idea was to probably go to the bouncer. Oh. We take these wins. For the second to last map, we got Block Dash Endless. And unfortunately, since this is the beta, we can't play Legendary Block Dash with the new emotes. But you guys will see gameplay, I'm sure, soon enough. So be on the lookout for that. Chill. That's got to hit. Bro, my aim needs work. Oh, you're dead. Yes! One mistake and we capitalize. All right, 8 to 12. And for the last one, we have the Stumbles and Dragons map, which is the brand new one. Let's see what power we get. Oh, we got the jump. Unfortunately, you can't use the dice emote here, but I still wanted to play the map before the video since it is considered an Elim map, and there's no way he can beat us here. But yeah, if you don't know, there's four different power-ups. You got jump, teleport, the axe, and shield. Jump and t teleport are by far my favorites, depending on who you're playing with. Because if you're playing with like 32 actual players, it could get to the point where axe could be the best, because obviously you can hit people. But if you're just like 1v1ing, I imagine TP is going to be where it's at, alongside the jump, obviously. How far back is the zone? If you don't know, there's a zone that slowly creeps up on you, um, and it's not anywhere close to us. So we got a good ways away to the first boss, I think. Um, here's our first boss. 
which is the random fist that just drops down. But yeah, the level does go on for quite a long time, which is basically the only downside to the map. But as you see, the zone catches up to you. So when this boss fight ends, you got to run for your life. Otherwise, you're going to get hit by that zone. Oh, nice. Next boss. We got the dragon. Okay, this zone is going to be the hardest so far, obviously. I kind of wish we got the axe. What? Oh, God. Is it right behind me? Ooh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I can't see. Oh, and here's the third and final boss that you can get. Oh, it got scared of me. Also, do you hear the goop sound? Ugh. Wait, where's the zone? It's so slow. Speed up, bruh. Wait, did we bug it? It might be bugged. Where's the wall? It's hard to say. Oh yeah, it's bugged. Rip. Okay, so we're gonna race to be the first person to die. Whoever can die first wins. He's so much further ahead. Go! Wait, I think I can just slowly walk forward, no? Yeah, that's the way you gotta do it. Bro, get back here! Yep, he's gonna win. The wall's right there. Dang it! All right, we'll give him that one. Uh, definitely an interesting ending to the video. But the final score is 8 to 13, meaning I owe him 5,000 gems. So huge shout out to T-Bones for helping out with this video. But if you enjoyed and you want to get this emote for yourself, because it's actually really good i know i say that a bunch but i mean it this time make sure you have code baby yoda entered in your item shop when you pick up the brand new stumble pass um and if you haven't seen me open up the entire thing definitely go check it out because there's a new uh layout to it and you can take a look at all the items individually but that's gonna be it from me hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one goodbye